Drugs and corruption at the highest of levels, gang wars, Franklin say and Leon at each other's throats with Franklin's mom getting banged up and Snowfall season 4 is back on 24th of February with a double bill. So in this video I'm diving deep into what we saw from the season 4 trailer and breaking everything down. So welcome back to Movie Bot, let's talk about Snowfall season 4. So hope you're all doing great and welcome to the trailer breakdown for Snowfall Season 4 and it's long overdue. A lot of you guys have been commenting and asking whether I'm covering Snowfall and of course I am. This is one of the greatest shows and a very underrated show compared to anything Netflix or Amazon or whatever have. Of course I'll be breaking it down similar to the way I do with Power. Most of you guys will be familiar with the episode reviews, storylines, character breakdowns and everything else I do with Power and Snowfall will be no different. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already then remember to smash the subscribe button. If you want to see everything snowfall related over the next two or three months but let's dive deep into this trailer for season four and you have to say franklin saint is looking like a real og with this cane and you just knew that this kid wasn't any ordinary kid because once he said front me a key with a conversation between avi we knew that we were just about to witness franklin's journey his transformation and character development over the course of three seasons we've seen just that and the latter stages of season three we saw him lose this girl that he cares most about him brutally murdering her father andre and himself recovering from the shots that he took at the hands of mel herself but this trailer itself is a very fast paced trailer with a lot they gave us a lot of information and if this trailer is to go by anything then we are in for a wild and crazy season four and it definitely is going to be one where plenty of bodies drop just in the first couple of seconds of the trailer we see a drive-by gang shooting which looks like scully and the bloods leon battle ready as always and with many of these scenes from the drive-by shooting leon with his gun in his hand shooting back everybody getting strapped up we also see gustavo and reed taking out what looks to be a sniper if i'm not wrong so this season season four is going to be one full of gunfire a lot more violence gang wars and of course a lot of bodies dropping and this is what they really have been building up to over the course of the last three seasons and of course we're going to see a lot more crack there is going to be a rising tide of addiction and we're really going to see the impact that this has on the people that franklin loves the most the place that they love but one person that looks like she's cleaned up real quick from the crack is mel we saw her towards the end of the trailer and the dynamics of her relationship with frank is going to be interesting because the last time we saw her was when she was putting the bullets in franklin's back and we never really got to see anything of her in the season finale some say that she'll be working with the cops but i'm not so sure what can she do or say anything because everybody knows that frank is a drug dealer it's no secret and they've already deemed her father's death as a suicide so if she is working with the cops or on the run or coming back for franklin one thing's for sure franklin this time he will be ready so let's talk about what we saw of franklin in this trailer we hear franklin say either you join the system let it destroy you or you fight it and then we see him with peaches with what looks to be out to meet looking like a proper kingpin while he walks in a suit cane in hand we expanding it's time we grow past that life as he looks on a hell of a lot of coke we hear louis say the more product coming in over the border means more competition and this is another reason as to why there's going to be a lot of violence bodies dropping because we have scully we have man boy there's going to be the crips and bloods gang war that's coming in season four but we know over the first couple of seasons violence is not the way franklin does things because he knows violence is bad for business which is why he repeatedly told leon to leave his shit with man boy but of course this is something that will at some point come to boiling point he'll want to take them out and that's pretty clear franklin needs them for business but you just know at some point man boy or leon will do something that will cause a retaliation and a retaliation that may be made too hastily but this gang war has clearly got franklin annoyed because we hear him saying that i'd like them off the board because they're bad for business over an image of man boy so is he referring to man boy or either scully or hey even both i think he's referring to man boy and his crew because we've heard leon warn franklin in season three that man boy he's bad for business we hear teddy telling frank that there's things that he can help him with and things that he can't stopping gang wars falls in the latter as we hear scully telling franklin at a funeral that he's gonna kill everybody that gets in his way the drive-by shooting with scully the bloods and leon and his crew is probably what leads us seeing louis telling franklin that if they go to war they're not gonna survive this and she's right how can they possibly survive this if they go to war but when franklin seems like his back is against the wall he always seems like he finds a way so let's wait and see how he handles and deals with this situation because his family and loved ones are all counting on him especially his parents we hear his parents telling him that they ain't running from nobody his mom's saying give him a reason and reason to believe that they can make it out intact and throughout this series 
we see Franklin carry a heavy burden on his shoulders and protecting his family and this is going to be even more tough as we see him having a bit of a breakdown. Maybe this is after his mom's just got arrested and being taken away by the cops. We're not sure as to why the reasoning but he's not going to be happy. It could be the cops connecting the dots raining down on his organisation because he's going to be feeding a lot of heat from the cops who seem to be taking a lot more of an interest in him. This scene we hear a voiceover which says who's protecting Franklin and why. So there's going to be a lot of people on the other side of the law asking questions as we get a scene of Franklin telling a cop that he seems to think that he has something on him with what looks to be like another law enforcement officer saying that he wants to see Franklin Saint in prison. But back to him protecting his family because I spoke about his parents but we also see this scene here which is of Jerome with Louis with what looks like Louis fighting for a life and we don't know the reason as to whether she'll survive or how she got there but I really do hope she does survive and it could be one of the reasons we see Franklin getting strapped up ready to hit this war head on. Now on top of all of that we see Leon and Franklin shouting at each other with Leon telling him I told your ass maybe referring to the fact that he couldn't trust man boy and he showed he never should have got into business with him. And speaking of Leon towards the end of the trailer we also see him lying down with someone who looks like they have their gun on him. The next scene pans to Franklin hovering over someone with his gun with what they've made it look like is Leon but we know better than that. For those who follow me with my power breakdowns and trailer breakdowns that I've broken down with power know I always say they like to manipulate some scenes to throw us off. Not always but they do like to manipulate the timings of sequences and events so we're just gonna have to wait and see whether Franklin has his gun to Leon. Now I've paused the frames as well and I'm not sure whether the guns are the same because to be honest with you I'm not 100% sure I don't know too much about guns so someone in the comment section may recognize that they may be the same or if they're not just comment down below but either way we'll find out soon enough because there was another teaser that was released where Leon pulled his piece on Franklin and he's mad ever since man boy came into the picture because he just doesn't like like him one bit. Franklin killing Kev by mistake which didn't sit too well with Leon either but I hope we don't see Franklin and Leon go to war with each other because it's a similar situation where I really didn't like to see the relationship between Tommy and Ghost become sour and I wish we saw more of them in the streets together without any women but with these trailers they do love to manipulate us. It could really be something of nothing but in this trailer we also get a bit from Teddy McDonald with the conversation that he has with Franklin, him and Gustavo. Teddy says that he sacrificed everything for this mission literally sacrificed everything and he has. He's lost his family, his brother, his wife and at this point in time he's a man with nothing to lose. As we see him right at the end of the trailer with his hands over his face looking distressed, there's a scene with him telling someone that you can't trust anyone with a face which looks battered, cut and bruised. But that's the trailer breakdown in a nutshell and I will be going deeper into particular parts of this trailer and other teasers diving deeper into plots, storylines and predictions and of course if I miss something then let me know down below in the comment section. Let me know your predictions for season for and of course if you're new to the channel remember to smash the subscribe button but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time